Hi everyone, my name is Jackie with Heartland Quilting Company and we are getting ready to do the cutting instructions for the tulip block. I want to thank everybody for your patience for me getting these videos out and thank you all for the prayers and um, well wishes for um, my son that is um, still in the hospital getting better but thank you so much for all of your support on that. So. Uh, we are going to, I'm going to show you how to cut the tulip block. Uh, I included in your kit cutting a cutting diagram. However, there is a, um, a couple of errors on the cutting diagram. I do apologize for that. I didn't realize it was, um, there was an error until one of you ladies um, messaged me and told me about it. So, here in the video, we're going to go over um, how to cut it so that you can get as many pieces as possible. If you have any scraps that are at least two inches wide of your background fabric, you're going to want to get that out for this these cutting instructions. Go. So now let's go over what you received in your kit. So the first thing you received is the tulip block instructions. Next should be the, uh, the uh, cutting diagram for the tulip block. And this bigger page covers the background fabric and the flower uh, pieces. So your main flower and your accent uh, cutting instructions for this part of your block. You'll have your background fabric all in a stack. And then next should be your accent and your main flower colors matched together in the stack. So you should have five of those, um, one right after the other in the stack. And then the next will be a little piece of paper and it will say for your green fabric. That is the fabric that you will cut for your stem of your flower. All right, so we are ready to cut our background fabric. I have the 10 inch squares. Make sure that they are ironed if you prefer. Um, the flatter they are, the better it's going to be. Uh, another thing too is if you want, you can lay each of your 10 inch blocks together on top of each other and then cut, and then you can cut all your pieces for all of your blocks at once. Just be mindful that the more pieces you have stacked on top of each other, the easier it is that the, your fabric might shift when cutting. So just be extra careful. It can be done, but be extra careful. So um, I'll leave that up to you, whether you wanna cut one block each um, or you want to cut them all at once, that is up to you and your preference. And remember, uh, and again, I apologize on the error that I made, but um, we still can get almost everything out of one of these 10 inch blocks for one of the tulip blocks that you're gonna make. And we are making five total of the tulips. Um, so if you have any uh, scrap background fabric from your previous blocks, um, the, these are some two and a half inch squares that was from previous blocks. If you want to get those out, or if you have any strips that are at least two inches wide, get that out because we're going to need, you're going to need some pieces off of that. You don't need um, a lot of, of background fabric or scrap fabric, um, but it will come in handy to be able to get all the pieces you need. So if you do find that you do not have any extra background fabric from previous blocks, send me a message and I will make sure to send you extra in your next kit to uh, make up for what's missing for this block. Again, I apologize on the error. All right, so the first thing that we're going to, to do on our 10 inch blocks is we are going to cut a two inch strip on the first edge of our fabric. So we're gonna take a ruler and we're gonna line it up with the edge of the square to the two inch mark, making sure it's nice and straight. And 
and we're going to cut that first strip. Whoa. And there goes my instructions. <laughs> okay. And we're just going to leave that so it will be 2 inches by 10 inches. You're just going to leave that just like it is. The next one we're going to do is another 2 inch strip. So we're going to line up the ruler again at 2 inches, making sure it's nice and straight. Straight down. And then we're going to take this extra piece and we're going to move it to the side because we need to do one more cut on this. So we're going to take our two inch strip and we're going to turn it sideways. And we need to measure eight inches, making sure that the other edge is lined up nice and straight, making sure we're at eight inches. and we're going to make a cut here. This is going to give us our 2 inch by 8 inch strip and our 2 inch square. Next we're going to um, go over to this side and we're going to cut another 2 inch strip and then make all of these small cuts next. So you can, it doesn't matter if you do it from the other edge over here or right here, it doesn't matter. You just want to line up two inches from your the chunk of background that you have left. Okay, and we're going to move this chunk to the side. We're going to move this sideways. If you are doing all of your background pieces at once uh, for this, because we're making a lot of small cuts, I would separate them out at least, I would say don't do more than two uh, layers at a time. Just because we're making tiny cuts, you're not going to want to have the fabric shift um, during these small cuts. So the first thing that we're going to do following the cutting instructions is we're going to cut um, two inches and two inches um, off of the top of here. So we're going to, from this side here, we're going to measure two inches. Put that to the side. And we're going to do that one more time, measuring two inches. And then uh, next we're going to uh, cut this piece what's left, which is six, should be six inches. We're going to cut it in half at three inches. Um, so we have two pieces that are three inches each. And then we're going to cut that three inch piece in half again. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure out three inches. Just like this. We have two pieces that are three inches each. We're going to take that three inch piece and we're going to measure one and a half inches. Lay that on top of each other. And go ahead, I would go ahead at this point, and especially those of you who are um, cutting uh, multiple layers at once, go ahead and turn this where it's um, the short is up and down and the long way is here. It should be two inches wide by one and a half inches tall. You're, we want to make these into one and a half inch squares. So we're going to measure out one and a half inches over on this side. And trim off the excess for one and a half inch squares. I'm going to take this last piece and we need to um, do the exact same process. So we have our three inches. We're going to cut one and a half inches. Okay. 
I'm going to lay those on top of each other. Being real careful to make sure that they're lined up. Then you're going to turn it sideways so that it's the long way goes this way. And then you're going to measure out one and a half inches. And trim off the excess. Next, we're going to take this final piece that should measure four inches wide by 10 inches, and we are going to cut um, seven inches this way. So we're going to measure out seven inches by four inches. And then this seven inches, we want to cut that in half. So we're going to measure out three and a half inches. So the piece should measure three and a half inches by four inches. And that's all we need there. So we're going to put those to the side. I'm going to take our last piece here that's four inches wide this way. And we need to cut that in half here. So we're going to actually turn it this way so that um, it should be three inches wide here by four inches wide this way. We are going to measure out two inches so that it's three inches by two inches. And that should make two pieces there. Okay. And that's all the pieces you'll make from the 10 inch square. And then we will show you what else you need from your scrap background pieces. All right. So I've grabbed some scrap background fabric from previous blocks. These are two and a half inch squares and I have four of them together. You're going to need, if you have squares, you're going to want four of them for one block. And what we're going to do is we're going to trim this down to two inches by one and a half inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, line it up with the edge on two sides, just pretty close to the edge, because um, I'm going to trim them to make them nice and uh, straight on those two edges. all of that and then I'm going to turn around so my straight edges are on this side then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out two inches and I'm going to keep it a little bit um, past the two inch mark and then measure one and a half inches this way again keeping it just past the uh, one and a half so I'm making my block a little bit bigger than two inches by one and a half inches but not a lot. Um, this helps when piecing small pieces, giving yourself a little extra room is really helpful. So I have it measured here just over the two inches and here just over the one and a half inches. And I am cutting four pieces at once. And that's what you need for one block. So if you have more scrap pieces or if you have a strip, you just just know you're going to cut it two inches, um, two inches by one and a half inches. And you need four of them for each block. And we're doing five blocks. Next, we are going to cut our main flower color and our accent flower color on the original pattern. It says the light yellow fabric and the yellow fabric is, um, is what it shows for here. Um, but on you, the cutting diagram that I sent in your kit, um, it's the main flower color, which is the bigger piece. And then the accent flower color is the smaller piece. 
okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the accent flower color because it's just this one piece. And what we wanna do is we just wanna make sure that this piece me measures two inches by eight inches. You can give yourself a little extra space if the piece allows. This one is already um, cut exactly to two inches by uh, eight inches, so I don't even have to do any trimming to it. But make sure that you check every piece in your kit to make sure that it's the correct size. So two inches by eight inches is what you need your accent fabric to be. Then we're gonna put that to the side. Then we're gonna to bring our main flower color. And we're gonna do a couple of cuts on this. The first cut we're going to do is we're going to do, um, it should be eight inches wide. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you check that, make sure it's eight inches wide by one and a half inches tall. So we're going to um, put this on here and we're going to measure out eight inches by one and a half inches. And it looks like my edge here, I'm gonna turn this around because it looks like that edge is a little bit crooked. So we're going to check this side, the side's better. Uh, now I'm going ahead and measuring just over eight inches and just over the one and a half, oh, that's one and a three quarters. We want one and a half. Just over the one and a half and just over the eight inches. I'm gonna cut that the long cut first and then we're gonna trim off this little excess over here. So we have one and a half by eight inch piece. Then we want to cut um, a three inches by six and a half inches um, from the remaining fabric. So we're going to uh, measure out three inches and I'm going just over the three inch mark this way. And then we're measuring out this direction, six and a half, Again, I'm letting the fabric be over just, just over the six and a half inch line. So once I have that laid out nice and straight, I'm going to again cut the long cut first and then trim the side off over here. And there we have it, we have our two pieces for our main uh, flower, main flower color, and then the one piece for our accent flower color, and it will go in like that. And it will be pieced in like this for our flower top. Oh. As part of oh. our cutting, All right, so the last piece is our green fabric, and that's the fabric for the stem. One, you should have three blocks that measure at least five inches by four inches. Um, uh, some of you might have just a charm square um, or what have you, but you want it to be, um, it might be a little over four inches on one direction, but you wanna make sure it's at least five inches um, on one side. This, just one of these five inch by four inch squares gives you enough fabric for two, two blocks. So the enough fabric for the stems for two blocks comes from one of these pieces. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut, um, we're going to cut the, from the five inch, five inches going this way, four inches this way, we are going to cut a two inch piece. So we're gonna take our take our ruler and we're going to measure out two inches this way, making sure it's lined up nice and straight. And then we're gonna move this over to the side because then we need to turn this piece this way. Let's, let's 
my straight edge on this side. And we're going to measure out two inch squares. So we're going to make sure it's two inches this way by two inches this way. And we're gonna do that twice. So there's one, and then we're gonna do it one more. My piece was a little over four inches, so we're gonna have some excess here. But you need to make sure you at least get two uh, squares that are two inch, two inch squares. And there we go, we have two of those. Then we're gonna bring back our um, rest of our chunk of fabric. And again, we had the five inches going this way and the four inches this way. We are going to measure out one and a half inches from the remaining fabric. Giving yourself just a smidgen over one and a half um, on this side, but making sure it's nice and straight. And then we're turning it this way because it needs to be only four inches tall. So we're going to measure out four inches. And cut off that excess over here. There's one. And then we're going to do the same thing to this one. We're going to turn it to the side. First, we're going to make sure it measures one and a half inches, which it does. And then we're going to line it up this way with four inches and cut off the excess. And you have one long rectangle and one square is enough green you need for one block and you just cut enough for two. So, um, so that you have, you have a little bit extra if you need it. But uh, to go over really quick, you should have your background pieces, your main fabric pieces, which should be two of them, your accent piece, which is just one, and then your green, two pieces for your green stem um, is all you need for one block. And on our next video, I will show you how to put your tulip block together. See you soon.